Hey guys, what's up? It's Kermaras, and welcome to your Curse of the Empty Lord mini quest guide for the 2007 servers. For this quest, you will need to have the Ring of Visibility, which requires you to complete Desert Treasure up until the Blood Ruby point. You need to have started the Restless Ghost, um, at least up until the point where you get the Ghost Speak Amulet. There is no skill requirements for this quest, however there is a 1 in 3 chance you will need 31 prayer to get the ghostly hood and a cloak. And there is no item requirements for this quest, however there is a 1 in 3 chance that you will need a knife. It's recommended to bring with you a few stamina potions as there is a lot of running. And there is a 1 in 3 chance that you may need a friend to distract aggressive earth warriors. Um, and there's it's also recommended to bring with you teleports all around RuneScape. Alright, so to begin this quest, or mini quest, go ahead and head to where Galeriel's tomb is. Uh, and this is just south from the Dorth Cannon spot, and just northwest from the Fishing Guild. Then speak to the mysterious ghost. Say, tell me your story, option one. Now be very careful here, we're waiting for us to ask where somebody is. So you say, where can I find Renard then? And this is what you need to pay attention to. So there's three different paths that you may need to take to get your ghostly robes. If you read through this text here, in yours it says something about pirates to the northeast, you have path 1. If it says something about bandits to the northeast, you have path 2. And if it says something about bandits to the southeast, you have path 3. On screen now is annotations, which will jump you to that time in the video. And also it should just say the time um, on the actual annotation itself. Um, so you'll be able to skip around if you're on like a mobile device. But for right now, he will give us the ghostly robe top. Uh, you can go ahead and drop that and speak to him again to get another one. And you can repeat this for your whole inventory if you want to. Um, and this will allow you to have up to a max of like your inventory space, which I think is 28 um, in your bank. All right, so this is path one. For path one, you need your ghost speak amulet and your ring of visibility. And it's recommended to bring with you um, a games necklace of at least two charges and a glory of at least two charges. We will be going into deep wilderness, like level 52, so don't bring anything you're willing to lose. I'll also bring some stamina potions, and I'm bringing a knife to cut the cobweb here uh, in the wilderness, uh, but any sharp weapon will do. To start, head to Edgeville, and then run south over to the wilderness lever, and go ahead and pull it. Say yes, you're brave. And we just need to go ahead and run north here. Go ahead and slash the web. And then we just need to run all the way west here until we hit the uh, pirate side out, which is near the shipwreck. So once you see the mining and the smithing symbol here, you're pretty much in the right location. Just a little bit more west. And here's the pirate's hideout. From the pirate's hideout, just keep going a little bit west. And he should be located in this area right here where I'm standing. Uh, he should be located really, really close um, to this ship. So this is where you need to be to find uh, Renard. So once you've spoken to him, listen to his story and then he'll he'll give you another piece um, he should give you the ghostly gloves and he'll tell you about the location of Karim, who is another ghost located at the chaos temple uh, so to get there let's go ahead first and run a little bit east all the way back to the mage arena
And Karim is once again located in the wilderness, level 38 multi to be exact. So once again, just be careful of what you bring. Uh, as you've seen earlier, I ran into a major as soon as I pulled that teleport, so. So go ahead and make your way into the mage bank, pull the lever, and then use your games necklace to go ahead and teleport to the corporal beast uh, layer. And once here, we're going to exit the cave, say yes. And it should be just a little bit southeast here. There should be a one of those teleports. An obelisk. Go ahead and activate that. We're going to try to get into level 38 wilderness. Okay, so once you get to level 44 wilderness, all we need to do is run uh, south. A little bit southwest, but really, really like so, so southwest. It's not very much at all. Uh, be careful of the chaos fanatic here. Uh, luckily someone's killing it and you'll eventually make it to the chaos temple and the ghost for this one should be located right inside by the altar here here's the mysterious ghost um, you'd go ahead and speak to him and run through his story and he will eventually give you uh, the ghostly boots he will then tell you about Linus, who is a ghost located in the church of Antrana. So we need to go ahead and make our way there now. To do that, let's go ahead and run back to the obelisk and use that uh, until we can teleport out using our glory to go to Draenor. The reason I didn't talk to the ghost there is I am on path 2, uh, so I'll be doing that in path 2 for mine. It just happens that some of these paths kind of go together. So use the obelisk until you get to, uh, I think it's below level 20 wilderness. Maybe it's below 30 when you can teleport out. Okay, so below 30 and you can teleport out and go ahead and make your way to Draenor. Alright, so just remember when you're going to Antrena that you can't bring any armor. or um, So no, no armor or weapons, uh, but you can bring your glory on. Uh, so let's go ahead and make our way towards the Entrana boat located on Port Serum, which is a free fare in case you're wondering, so you won't need any coins. Just going through the shortcut here, I believe you need like Lumbrich Diaries to do that. And once you're on the dock, just head south. Take the boat. Uh, so I think it might actually be the food here. I don't think the knife's a big issue, but it might be. Ah, wait, hold on a minute here. Hold on. I, I know what it's doing. I know what it's doing. Okay, uh, so just keep in mind, too, that the ghostly robes do count as armor and weapons. Uh, so you'll need to use the bank deposit box there. Not really a big deal. And once you're here, cross the gangplank and run northeast into the church. In here, you will find Linus, however you pronounce that guy's name. Go ahead and speak to him. He will tell you his story. And then uh, he will tell you about another ghost, Dekalok, who is located in the Wizard's Tower, which is south of Draenor. To get there, let's go ahead and use our glory to drain our village. And Linus should have given you the ghostly row bottom. So once you're in Draenor, go ahead and run south. And Darklock, however you pronounce that guy's name, will be located in the Wizard's Tower on the first floor in the library. Go ahead and speak to him. He will tell you his story, and then he will tell you about the last ghost, which is Vigora. I can't pronounce any of these names. And uh, he will be located, once again, in the wilderness. Um, 
but in the wizard's tower this ghost should have given you the ghostly hood all right so when you're ready to move on we need to go ahead to go ahead and make our way to the corporal beast exit through this cave and once again head southeast towards the obelisk and we're heading to level it's like 52 to 56 wilderness uh, it's up by the rogues castle I'll meet you there and once you made it to the level 50 obelisk spot go ahead and run into the rogues castle the entrance is on the southern side of the gate at least and then run to the eastern side okay sorry uh, into the eastern side here into this door need to look on screen for this and there should be a staircase which is located in the northwestern side climb up that staircase and the ghost should be in the eastern corner here Go ahead and speak to him he will tell you a story and give you his last piece which is and give you the last piece which is the ghostly cloak this has been path one all right so for path two you you're going to need your ghost speak amulet and your ring of visibility and you should bring a games necklace with at least two charges and an amulet of glory with at least two charges and a teleport method to get to canifus or the slayer tower better put uh, i'll be using an ectophile for that I'm also going to bring a few pieces of food, and we will be going in the wilderness for this, so keep that in mind. Alright, so to start off, rub your games necklace and go to the Corporal Beast Lair. From here, just exit out. And we need to run all the way west until we get to the Bandit Camp, the one in the wilderness. So that will be past the Graveyard of Shadows. Keep on going. And into the Wilderness Bandit Camp. Now once in here, you will find the mysterious ghost, however these bandits here will attack you very heavily. Uh, so what you can do is you can go to the general store to the west and you can drag all of them in here. And once you've gotten the bandits nice and stuck here, uh, you can do it in this little cook's room and in the general store, you can go ahead and talk to the mysterious ghost freely. Um, I already did this actually, uh, but my recording messed up, but all you do is you speak to him, you ask to hear a story, he'll tell you a story, he'll give you some ghostly gloves. Once that's done, go ahead and start running into level 20 wilderness by going south. Once you're in level 20 wilderness, go ahead and teleport to the Corporal Beast Lair. So once here, go ahead and exit out of the cave. And then run west. into the Graveyard of Shadows. When you're in the Graveyard of Shadows, it's in the southwestern part. Here's the mysterious ghost. Go ahead and speak to him. Make sure your ghost speak amulet is equipped. And run through the rather long chat asking him to tell you his story. He'll give you the boots. And now we need to go ahead and teleport to Draenor Village. 
Once at Draenor, run south, or sorry, west. Climb under this tunnel wall if you can. If not, just run around. I believe you need the Lumbridge Diaries to do that. And once on the dock, simply run uh, all the way to the end towards the Squire for the uh, travel to the Pest Control minigame. So that will be uh, the very first uh, big turn off on the dock here. And then just keep running all the way towards the end. So he's located somewhere in the middle of this. Okay. So it's kind of hard to see, but here he is. Uh, he's located just next to the ship that we used in the Dragon Slayer quest, if you've done that. Asked to hear a story. He'll give us the bottom, and we now need to make our way off to Edgeville. So once you're at Edgeville, go ahead and head over to the monastery, which is west. Make your way into the monastery. This is where you need level 32 prayer, or level 31 prayer, sorry. Uh, to get into the top of the monastery. And one up, once up top, go ahead and run north here. All the way to the other end of where the little altar is. And in this room, there will be the ghost. Speak to him. Ask to hear the story. And he'll give us the hood. Let's go ahead now and use our Ectophiles, or whatever way you have to get to the Slayer Tower, uh, and make our way there. So I use my ectophile and I'm just going to run west. Past Frankenstein's castle. I may or may not have just completely failed and went in that castle looking for it. And once you make it to the Slayer Tower, let's go ahead and make our way up to the next floor. It 
it's a bit of a maze uh, but basically you want to get to the staircase which is on the eastern side And here it is on the map. Go ahead and climb up this staircase. He should be not far from the stairs. Here he is. So just come out of the staircase into that hallway and he should be here. Ask him to tell you his story. And he'll give you the last piece. That is it for path two. Welcome to path three. For this, you will need your Ghost Speak amulet and your Ring of Visibility. You'll need uh, a knife and a friend as well. I'll let you know when you need a friend, it's at the very last part. For transportation, you should bring 1,000 coins, that is to pay for a magic carpet ride to the bandit camp in the desert. You need a games necklace with at least one charge. A royal seed pod from the Monkey Madness 2 quest would be ideal, however a grand seed pod would also work, or any other transportation to the tree gnome stronghold. And a glory amulet with at least one charge, along with a Falador teleport. To get started, trade shanty and buy a shanty pass. Then head south out of the pass, and just to the southeast, travel with the rug merchant. Go to the uh, camp, it's the second option there, it's like butter bean camp or something. Once here, go ahead and run south. And once you're at the bandit camp, it will be in the westmost building. the ghost that is here he is sometimes they're hard to see the mysterious ghost go ahead and speak to him make sure that your ring of visibility is equipped to see it and that you do have a ghost speak amulet on uh, anyways once you go ahead you'll speak to him ask him about the story and after he's done talking to you about the story he will give you your ghostly gloves he will also tell us about the ghost carom and he is located at the Lava Maze, which is located in level 43 Wilderness. So we're going to make our way there now. Um, so go ahead and use your games necklace to go to the Corporal Beast. If you're worried about items, uh, go ahead and make sure you don't have anything valuable on you. Say yes to go in the Wilderness and then run a little bit southeast here to the Obelisk. And we're going to activate the Obelisk. And we need to take this until we get up close to the KBD layer. 
Okay, once you're in level 35 wilderness, let's go ahead and start making our way northwest towards the lava maze. Be careful, there is dragons if we just go north here. So make sure to avoid those. And up to the entrance of the lava maze. Now it is located fairly deep inside of the lava maze. It's kind of a pain. And here's the entrance, so go ahead and start making your way in. Slash the web here. So as we can see, uh, the ghost is in there. And speak to the ghost, he'll tell you about his story. And it, after he's done telling you about his story, uh, he'll give you the ghostly boots. Now we need to go ahead and make our way to the gnome ball field. Uh, so to do that, the easiest way would definitely just to be, um, let's see here actually. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is make your way out of this maze now. And we're going to make our way over to the KBD layer. I'm not sure what level of agility this shortcut is. If you're 82 agility, you can use that shortcut. Definitely save some time. <clears throat> if not, let's go ahead and make our way out of the lava maze. Once you have made your way out of the lava maze, go ahead and make your way down towards the KBD layer here. Get ready to teleport right away. We now need to head just outside of the gnome ball field, so let's go ahead and go south from the uh, grand tree here. And once you're out of the exit, go ahead and make your way west. And here we are at the gnome ball field. 
here's the ghost. You'll go ahead, speak to him, ask him what his story is, he'll tell you, and then he will give you the ghostly robe bottom. All right, so once you're done with that, let's go ahead now and use our little mistake there. Don't use your glory, use your Falador teleport and run east towards the party room. Once you make it to Party Pizzos, the ghost should be just in this room somewhere. He is upstairs in Party Pete's house. So here's the ghost on the second floor. Go ahead and speak to him. Ask for a story, run through the story, and he will give you the ghostly hood. Once you're done with that, go ahead and use your Amulet of Glory to teleport to Edgeville. And at this point, you're also going to want to gather your friend. Then run south towards the Edgeville dungeon. Open the trap door and climb down. From here, run north. Keep in mind, we will be going into level 10 wilderness. Once you come here uh, to like the dead end area where there's a gate, pass through the gate. And then east from here, you will see a gate uh, that leads into the wilderness. Cross into the wilderness and run north. Keep going north. This is where you need a friend. If you don't have a friend at this point, go ahead and get one to come down here. Uh, so that way you will have time to talk to the ghost. And past these first initial earth warriors and into the second earth warriors. Here's the mysterious ghost. You'll simply have your friend uh, take the tack so he'll stand between you and the ghost. Uh, that way the earth warriors hit him and you'll be able to talk to the ghost and get through the conversation. That will give you the last and final piece, the ghostly cloak. I hope this helped guys. Until next time, love, peace, and chicken grease.